Reindeers, reindeers. Zoom in. Uh -uh. This appears to be the uh, ritual mating dance of the, uh, the reindeers. The reindeers. And they are mating as is their ritual. Notice the up and down movements of their hooves and buddies. This signifies their love for each other. In, uh, <laughs> Time, 9.11 p.m. I was going up in a vertical kind of way when I stumbled upon my bedroom. Ransacked again. It must have been those, those bad guys. Look at this mess. It's messy. It's not the least bit neat. Luckily, I noted something. It was a brown towel. Something that had not been there before. Who did I know that owned a brown towel? This was the house of the brown towelian. Twenty miles from my house, it was a wonder that I got here by 9.12. But then, I'm a wonder. I looked around. There appeared to be a portrait on the wall. It appeared to be looking at me. It appeared that it was looking at me with its eyes. Now this is silly. Those eyes are far too big for any human. What did this mean? It was just my imagination in that the brown towelian could not have stolen or ransacked anything in my room. It must have been the famed architectural photographer. He left evidence sprawled out all over the room. Note the fuzzy camera package. The architectural books. My mistake. And the windows which looked out onto none other than my front lawn. So it was dark. Don't blame me. Once more, in my tiny abode, I reflected upon the day's events. What could possibly have been the cause for such a burglary? Well, I just have to give it some more thought. Back to my room. Maybe I could discover what it was that was missing. Note the guilty look. Note my shirt. My it shirt. was him. And that was the reason he broke into my room, destroying just about everything in it. What was I to do? I had no proof. Could have been anyone. In fact, he could easily claim that I gave him that shirt in exchange for a number of other articles he gave to me. Mom gave it to me. Now I know he's lying. This could be the clincher. Something is in the way. I'll go around. Now it's 9.15. Time flies when you're having fun. But I have a villain to catch. He appears to have disappeared. But now I must film. The music. The only way to capture this fiend was to set up a surveillance system in his phone to monitor any strange activities he might involve himself in. Reading about Europe, one of his masquerades about, uh, to confuse us by making us think that he was really an architect. His house was rather busy. Now I know you ask the same question that I asked myself. How did I manage to get a camera moving throughout his house without being noticed? The answer is distressingly clear. I could not. He noticed me and looked over to where I was standing. Now I was in trouble. I had to think of something quick. I decided to run for the door. I ran, moving in a forward direction, fleeing, trying to escape the menacing foe. It worked. But then I stumbled upon his uncle. 
I had to sneak by without being noticed, or it was the end for me. Here I go. There you have it. Despite my complete assurances that he was the villain, there was nothing I could do. I decided I would have to get revenge for myself. And that I was going to do.